This is the book of 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13. There have no temptation taken you, but such as common to man. But Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushah, is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But with the temptation also make of a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. First and foremost, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rokakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of great mills, known who rule well. Shallow to the hopefully like men that scattered abroad, pushing the truth for our sincerity. Shallow ones to a few, few sisters that's getting the order inside these last days. Coming through with a quick video. Lord one is edifying. And it's just a topic of suffering, man. You know, suffering is is, you know, I did a video on it, you know, some some weeks back. You know, it's a godly trait. You know, so stay down for the come up, man. Stay down for the reward. You know, like the um, other brothers be saying, hey, get down for your crown. You know, so with us getting down for our crown, it's going to be, you're gonna, it's going to be a fight. You know, it's, it's going to be a real fight. You got you to show that Lord that dog in you, man. You know, so we're going to be suffering, you know what I'm saying? And, and to them, to them um, cherries beam us up. Lord willing, you know, we're part of that remnant. All right, but it says, they have no temptation taking you, but such as common to man. You know? Because uh, uh, a lot of brothers are going through a lot of temptation, right? A lot of brothers are suffering. We are all suffering. You know, you got some sisters that are suffering too, right? We are all suffering, right? But the Lord not going to give you nothing that you cannot handle. You know, that's why everybody, that's why every brother lot is set up differently, you know? The thing that you may think, um, the thing that you can handle, the next brother may not can't handle that, you know? But when you look at it, hey, how about Shemi Shot? It's just testing your faith, man. It's testing to see if you're going to. So I can. The Lord is ultimately showing, testing you to see if you're going to stay down, man. If you're going to stay down for the long haul, right? Because when you come to this truth, right? We 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 pretty much, um, we are we, we counting the cost, you know? Yahweh Shah is that is that prime example, you know. Um, Lord will I get those same um, precepts later on, but he's that prime example of enduring, you know, suffering. Right? It ain't nothing. To, it ain't nothing to have fun about on this side. The glory about on this side. You know, it's all about suffering and doing the works, right? And that's why a lot of people move move from out of this truth because they see that it's just it's just hard times, right? But hard times make strong individuals, man, right? And, and the Lord looking for the well, he know who they are, but, you know, from from our point of view, he's looking for the elect, you know? And, Lord, when we're part of that remnant, that's why, hey, we make these videos to um, to comfort the brothers to make sure they keep going hard, man. Make sure they keep enduring whatever they got to go through, man, because, hey, we don't know who the elect is, right? And we, it's beautiful to goddamn to give encouragement to a hopefully elect brother, you know? You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's, it's good to, you know, always be around like-minded brothers as well. Because, you know, hey, we help burden, carry that burden for, um, for brothers, man. You know, we help, hey, be, being around like-minded brothers, hey, you able to bring out precepts, you know, get rich in the spirit, break bread spiritually, you know, um, and keep the brother level-headed, man. You know, scriptures talk about how in the book of Ecclesiastes, you know, two is better than one, man. Because, you know, you can fall down. You know, but you always got that. You always got them brothers. You know, that's that's gonna help um, keep you up. You know, and that's what makes you not fall into temptation. You know, and a lot of things. Uh, uh, you know, temptation as in you can say giving up. You know, that's why it's always a hey, man. You gotta have them brothers on speed dial, man. And throw water to the brothers that I reach out to and, and answer that phone call and you know guide me. You know, as light as light well on the other, on the other end. You know. But, you know, back to the point, it says they have no temptation taking you such as common to man, right? All of these, all of these trial and tribulations we go through are common, right? Don't think that you're not going through something that the next brother not going through. And hell, he may be going through way more than what you're going through, man, right? But that's a measurement according to his lot, you know? It says, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, right? So the Lord will not give you something that you cannot handle, right? So the thing that we go through... 
Man, you how about you, man? I was shy. See something in us that, hey, we can handle it, man. He see the dog in us that can handle the, the, the small little portion that we, that, that the small portion of affliction that we're going through. He see that we can handle it, man. You know, so we just got to take, take cheer with that. You know, because, hey, the title going to be pretty much around hope, you know, suffering, you know, and, and, and the picture that I got, you know, queued up for like the thumbnail, you know, hope stands for um hold on pains hold on pain ends something like that you know could we hold it on because hey we holding on because we got so much pain built up in us you know traveling this course you know this, this great path right we got a lot of pain that's built up in us and guess what hey, in the book of revelation 20 21 and 4 hey we're going to actually be able to release that man All right so we just got to hold on and hey hold on right and then you know hope hey hope is faith Right, but I want, I want to grab that Revelation 20, 21 and 4 right quick. It's the book of Revelation um, 21 and 4. Just go straight to the point, you know, because in uh, other verses, you know, like John was just talking about hey, how you seen a new heaven and a new earth, you know, hey, and, and, and the elect, you know, finna, hey, fin finally made it to the end. You know, Yahweh shall finally be up the elect. Like I said, we'll love, we'll be a part of that remnant, right? It says, Verse 4, Revelation 21 and 4. And Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, right? Why, why is it? Why are you wiping all the tears, right? Because we have so much built up inside of us that we just want to release. And we know this earth is not nowhere to release it to unless we actually talking to a brother that's like minded, right? But we're going to ultimately release that, that frustration, that hardship that we went through, right? And, and, until Yahweh Shah, right? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know, so hold on. Um, um, pain ends, right? It's gonna eventually end, right? Seeing our people down in the lowest condition, right? Our people don't want to hearken to the word, you know. Right, that, that, that that's that's vexing to us, man, because we we want to heal our people, but we can't do it right now, you know. Um, it says, and Yahweh Bashim shall shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Right? You got brothers that's that's um, I mean that's that have illnesses, man. You know you have you have brothers that's that's uh lame, right? They, they, they legs don't work, limbs don't work, you know, and they still trying to do this work, you know. But that's pain built up day in and day out, right? You have brothers that have man, just being real, they have fucked up ribs, man. You know they have fucked up ribs that that, 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 that don't want to be on the same accord as them, so it makes they it makes they man it's, it's like uh uh they battling twice a day, you know you got to battle at, at the plantation, you got to come home and battle against your rib, man, that shit is vexing, bro. So I, I mean I know it, and you know the water he had by Shemuel shot, man, <laughs> be real, he got the demon that I had away from me, man, like real deal, got a, got got it away from me. You know, but to the ones that hey, that still have a rib, you know, that's you know, that's trying to um keep everything level, you know, trying to balance, trying to keep everything balanced. Hey, I I, I know it's pain, you know, but it's a part of your life, man. And you how about you, man? I give you nothing that you can't handle, you know. But this is a part of what he gonna be wiping away from your eyes, man. I got to worry about dealing with a a, a a a person that's supposed to be my 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 uh pillar of rest, right? I got to worry about that person being my pillow of stress, you know? Hey, um, being picked on, being mocked at because you're teaching the word, you know? Eating defiled food, right? That shit is vexing to the spirit, man. You know, we, we ready to be at one with you. How about Shemiah Osha? You know, so, hey, you how about Shemiah Osha? We put all our tears, man. We ain't got to worry about no our folks dying, you know? It's like it would be, you know, and, um, um, at peace, you know, finally. All right? So, um, I'm gonna just close out with that uh that first Corinthians ten and thirteen as well. I'm gonna go to the book of second second uh Timothy two and twelve, you know, because the main point of this video is about suffering, man. When we come inside this truth, we already counted the cause. We finna lose a lot of shit. We finna lose a lot of shit, man. We finna hey, we finna we finna lose it all, man. The Lord finna build us back up from scratch. 
You know, we wasn't aware. We thought we was doing something. You know, we, we started from the bottom. You know what I mean? Then we working our way up. Now, nah, man, now the Lord has gave us this wisdom and understanding. Now we start from scratch, man. You want to be a, a, a real disciple of the Lord, right? Uh, uh, hopefully let, right? He got to start you off from scratch, right? You about to suffer, right? And we have to already have it in the front of our mind, in the back of our mind. This is what we signed up for, man. Right? Um, it's the book of 2 Timothy 2 and 12. If we suffer, right? It says, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. And this is just the point. You know, when he comes to this truth, it's all about suffering. Yahweh Shai didn't, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shai could have boasted, right? But he didn't. Came in that humble spirit, right? But, hey, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him, right? And like I said, you know, the scriptures say, you know, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai is that prime example that we should always look at. He suffered. And, and what was his reward? He got glorified in the end, man. Right, we're gonna ultimately glorified again when he come back and take all the crowns from all these uh, uh, different nations. Right, and I want since I said that one thing, I want to go to that book. Uh, damn, so like you. Uh, I can't even remember the uh, scripture. Um, it's a Luke twenty-two. Damn, I cannot remember the scripture. I'm going to have to skip it because I cannot remember it. Is it Luke 24? No, that's not it either. I can't remember, but you know it goes into uh, you know how the how the man how the, how you how I smash I told them, hey, if you want to follow me, you gotta give up you gotta give up your garments. You know, you gotta give up all your, your riches and follow me. You know, is you willing to lose it all and suffer, right, to get glorified in the end, right? And that's what we are. That's what we doing, man. That's what, this is why we we in this walk, right? We in we in a purifying purifying stage, man. Because we want to be glorified like Yahweh shot, man. You know, so at the end of the day, we got to keep being um, we got to keep uh going through the trials and tribulations because we know what's the, what's the uh end, end goal, man. Right, and, and well, like I said, Lord willing, it's edifying. Um, it's the book of Romans 8 and 17, you know, because we come inside heavy times and we just got to keep these things in the back of our mind. Are we willing to suffer? Are we willing to be beheaded, you know, for Yahweh Shah? You know, are we willing to go days without eating? You know, are we ready to be persecuted for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah? Right, this is like I said, this is this is the um. Like I said, the um, title says, says uh, hold on, pain ends. You know, we're finna go through, we're finna be tried on the way, a late, a wave that we've never been tried before. Right? So we're finna go through a lot of pain. Right? But, hey, the, the beauty of it, you know, the scriptures, hey, it, it, it tells you, you know, the things written the fourth time for our learning. So we got comfort from the scriptures, you know, and also we know the reward from being, um, staying down, staying down for the come up. Right, start the book of Romans eight and seventeen. It says, "And if children, then hairs, hairs of Yahweh, and joint hairs with Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together." Right. So all these scriptures are about suffering, suffering, and suffering, and suffering. Like I said earlier, that's why a lot of folks drop out of this truth because they think they come to this truth, and it's going to be just peaches and cream. Nah. We about to see is you willing to undergo, right? That's what the words endure mean, right? Is you willing to be made hard? Is you willing to go through them trials and tribulations? Are you willing to earn your stripes, your stripes, right? And and that, the heavy part says the heavy part of it, it says if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So you know the Yahweh shot that prime example, right? We we, see, we we read his accounts on how he came and. Was humble, you know, got got I mean, you know, killed from his by his own people, man. Our own 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 people, you know, disown Yahweh Shah. And we see it right now. He walks at the same footsteps as Yahweh Shah, man. You know. Our people a hey, disown us, man. You know. Um verse 18. It says, For I reckon that the sufferings 
of the present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, right? I reckon I consider the sufferings, right? That in, of this present time are not worthy to be compared, right? Because if if only we, if only the Lord could show us what we was finna get like right now, right? We'll be we'll be ready to stay the course, right? But we, I mean, we 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 believe we are we still believe now. But you know, if it's to show you a glimpse of, you'd be like, damn, I gotta keep going, right? But that's when that faith kicking in overdrive, man. Let me go to the book of Hebrews 11 and 1. Let me come back to that. Um, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. <laughs> the evidence of things not seen, right? So it goes back to the... Shlocky. It goes back to the word. Uh, I'm a one, right? Faith. Right? We, got, we have faith. And what we can't see, but we read about it, and that's what builds up the faith. That's why we're willing to go through what whatever we go through, you know. Right? So we don't see it yet, but we got faith is gonna come, right? That's why we stay in this course. That's why we that's why we, we're still suffering. You know, we know the end is not yet, so we can keep suffering until you have a shot. Until you have a shot, you must up, Lord willing, we're part of that remnant. All right, so back in the book of Romans 8 and um 17. Um, it says, and if children then hairs, hairs of Yahweh, then joint hairs with Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be glorified, also glorified together. Right? When you suffering, and that is like you know, you're working out. You know the suffering, right? You going, you be lifting weights and you lifting weights, and you know what I'm saying? Because you know the outcome gonna come. You know you're gonna be cut up, toned, and you know, looking good. Right, we're going through what we're going through now because guess what? We're learning these scriptures, going through the sufferings, and we're gonna guess what? We're gonna be set up on high, right? 144,000, 12,000 from each tribe of the tribes of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Natives. All right, so that's this is what we exercising for, All right? So, I'm gonna, from now, I'm gonna go to the book of First Peter, um, four. I just want to grab verse one. It says, "For as much then as Hamashiach has suffered, right? Always, it's all about suffering. You know, it says, for as much then as Hamashiach Yahweh have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in this flesh have ceased from sin, right? And like a like the word arm arm yourselves, meaning with the same mind as well. Take take on the same mind." You know, so we got to take on the same mind as Yahweh Shah, right? Be ready to suffer. Like I said, you know, we know the ends go, end result for Yahweh Shah. He was crowned on the right-hand side of Yahweh, right? I'm going to jump down to verse 12 and 13. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you, right? So you're being suffered. I mean, you're getting tried, tried right? A hey, trial, no trial, you can no testimony. No test equals no testimony, so like you. All right? So if we're gonna be tried in the flesh, man. You know, ultimately we're gonna be tried with this uh Karagma, M O T B. You know, we're finna be tried a uh uh with 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 the guillotine on top of our heads, you know, that's gonna be a part of the trial. You know, yeah, you, brothers may be tried, hey, they women may wanna leave. You no, know, we gotta be willing to have that Joe spirit too. For everyone to leave, fuck it. You know, whatever we lose, we're gonna gain anyway. That's a part of suffering. That's a part of staying down. Right? Um, it says, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Right? So that's that's a beautiful thing, you know, to be to be um glorified on that on that on that side too as well. Right, like yo 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 um yo uh testimony right, your your name written inside the book of life, right yo 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 like I said your name is gonna be um I always looked at your your story gonna always be looked at read about, right that's something that's shit that's a beautiful thing to fight for man then at that we fighting for peace, you know to get up to get up out of here. All right, so don't think it's strange, all right? The fire tries to try you, right? You have a shot. You have a shot. It's going to keep trying us, man. Right? The thing, but the thing is, we got to keep suffering. We got to keep holding on. 
You know, gotta keep holding on like like it's a tight rope. You know, gotta keep holding on to the end. Um, for now, I want to jump to the book of Hebrews. <laughs> so I can. Like it. Alright. It's the book of Hebrews 12 and 1. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, right? Beset goes into um trouble, trouble us, and let us run with patience. The race that is set before us. What is this race? And it's just truth, right? I like that the, the Lord has set up for us. Run it with patience. Don't, hey, take it easy. You know, we come to a stumbling block or a bump in the road. Just breathe and, and, and try to apply the wisdom and understanding to the best of your ability. You know, just know that, hey, the Lord, hey, boom. He's trying you again, you know. He's trying you again, hey. Apply. Apply the scriptures, man. Hey, your wife may want to start arguments and shit like that. Apply the wisdom not to understand. And jobs maybe want to, you know, come against you and say mocking stuff against you. Hey, be, 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 uh, be, um, what's it, how it goes? Harmless as a dove. Wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Kind of the water you have by Shemel Shai. You know? So we finna be, you finna be, we finna be tried, you know, all the way around, man. That just, that's just the point, you know. We're gonna be tried every day on, on all aspects, man. All right. That's why we build ourselves up with the wisdom and knowledge, so we can be able to handle it, you know. And also praying fast, so the Lord can hey, keep guiding you, man. Because you don't want to do nothing on your own, uh, uh, on your own time. It's not the word I want to say, but on your own, on your own will, right? It says, look, verse two, looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith. So like, let me go back to um, verse two, um, one, because the word for patience, right, goes into cheerful, right? Because that's what I meant to say. It says, I'm going to read it from the top. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses that is lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, trouble us, right? The thing that we go through. Right, going off. It says, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, right? Because the thing that we're going to go through, right? We, we still got to have that. We still got to uh, uh, rejoice, right? Rejoice. And even though we're going through bad times, we still got to rejoice in it, man. Right? Because understand that, hey, we're doing our best. We're going to let Yahweh Shem to do the rest. So, therefore, we're going to get that burden unto him, right? And he's going to guide us up out of it, you know? It says, verse 2, it says, looking unto Yahweh Shah, the author and finisher of our faith, right? And, and like I say, you know, Yahweh Shah is that prime example <gasps> of um of staying down for, for the ultimate come up. It says, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, right? He endured the cross, and that's what we're doing now today. You know, we're we, we bearing, ours, bearing ours each and every day to the best of our ability. It says, despising the shame and the set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. All right? So, it's just a point, you know. But it says, um, matter of fact, you know, uh, he, he endured, right? He had the patience, you know. And right? When you go to the word patience, it just, like I said, it goes into, you know, uh, uh, cheerful, you know. And um, it goes out the blue letter as well. That's what I meant to say. It goes out the blue letter. It says cheerful. You know, it got endurance, right? And, you know, when you, go to, when you look up endurance, it means stamina power, right? Sufferance and uh, determination, you know? We got to look at Yahweh Shah's story, and that should be the that should make us determined to keep going, right? Because, shit, that's a beautiful thing to not die. Because we know the prophecies is coming, right, of, of World War through that great lake of fire, you know? So we got that determination to keep, to keep standing down for the come up, man. You know, and I'm going to close out this last little precept. Um, it's a rock, too. It's a rock, too. Right? It says, um, it's a rock, two and one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, prepare thyself for temptation. Right? When we come to serve Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, 
hey, hey, you a lot of folks will turn back. You know, so it's like we already got to have a count the cost inside our mind. And that's why I say, hey, prepare thyself for temptation because the things I'm about to take you through, hey, you you can, you can fuck around and fall back, right? It may it may even got too hot in the kitchen for you, you know? But if you truly persuade inside your own mind, you already going to understand these things. You're going to be tried in a lot of ways. You know, you will try it in a lot of ways. That's why you said prepare thyself for temptation. And, and that great temptation hasn't even came just yet, man. But but it's on the way. You know that Karagma MOTV. You know. What is it about son of thou come to serve the Lord? Prepare thy soul for temptation, man. Like hey, um, on the thing that he has set up. You know, the laws that the Lord has set up, man. If you want to serve the Lord, hey, put those in mind. You got to be able to keep these laws to the best of your abilities. You know, can't go back to your old ways. All right, that's the temptation. That's the urge to go against you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah? You know, so with that being said, Lord, when was edifying, and I want to give out honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem Rakadash. Till next time, I'll say Shalom.